Hi, this is Joshua with Greater Than Gatsby. Today I'm going to be working with our Clean Essentials collection and uh, I'm just going to be doing a nice, crisp, clean edit for you guys. Um, we do sell a lot of sets that have, you know, an artistic flair to it, but this set is really for somebody that just wants a clean, polished, professional looking image. So with that, let's get started. I'm going to click on one of the foundations. We're going to play Classic Clean Primary. All right, now that foundation came on a little strong, and so we are going to back it down just a little bit. Um, let's see, I like it right there, about 50% opacity. Okay, so we've got that. Now we're gonna play with some of these tone enhancers. Um, my very favorite one is Faded Frost, and I'll tell you why, because a lot of times skin gets just a little yellow, a little warm, and this faded frost, it seems, is like the perfect action just to dial it back and make it clean. Now, it made it a little too bright there. Um, so we'll put it right there at about 30% opacity. And uh, I want to do something that brings out the greens in the background, maybe just make them a little bit more minty. And so I'm going to play Great Gardens. And that, again, is way too much. I, I always create these to where they're nice and strong at the beginning just so you can see really what the action is doing but typically when I play these I always end up backing them down just a little bit so we're gonna leave that one at 40% and actually I think that's pretty good so um, you know we have a few different types of tone enhancers in this set but just for the sake of this demo I think I'm gonna leave that one right there uh, we've got finishing vignettes, but I really don't think that one needs it. Um, it is a little bright, and so I'm going to play Midtone Deepen just to bring the exposure back to where I want it. So 20% looks good. Um, so there's a few things that I have in these final adjustments, and I don't know if I'll use them in the finishing edit, but I just want to explain them. I've got this tint fix to green and tint fix to magenta you know our eyes are pretty good at telling if something's like too warm or too cool but it's really hard to see where you are on the magenta scale there's a lot of people in our Facebook group that always want skin checks and so this is kind of for that type of person you can look and if you think it's too green play it and it'll add some magenta to it so I mean we can back it all the way down obviously I think her skin looks pretty good but, um, you know, it could probably use maybe 10% magenta, 5 I mean, not much. Just trying to get that white balance perfect is always tricky. So that's what that's for. Um, another cool thing that we have in here is what's called a color blend. And what this does is it basically saves all of your texture, all of your detail, and it won't mess with that at all. But what it does is it creates an invisible layer and it blends the colors slightly together just to make your image a little bit softer yet all the details stay perfectly intact so I'm gonna play one of those as well just so you can see what it does and as you can see that almost like contoured her face it popped the highlights um, there are a few places that it went a little too dark I'm gonna just use a black brush bring up the opacity a little bit and just take some of it off this dark spot in her hair that made that one patch just a little bit too dark but I'll probably keep it you know everywhere else just so you can see the before and after of just what that one action did um, actually I see that it's making her eyes a little too dark too so bring the life back to those um, and actually there's a couple places I might use a little fill flash. Her neck is a little dark, so I'll make a few pops around here. Now one thing I play on every image is crisp the details, and I play this on my subject's eyes just to pop them out and make them as sharp as I can. So we'll leave that there. Um, her skin tone looks pretty good, so I don't think we need to warm it up or anything like that. So really, I mean, this was a very simple edit. 
Um, you know, but what we did, the few actions we played made a pretty big impact. So just to see where we started, here's the before and here's the after. Before and after. So as you can see, that is a very clean, professional, polished image we got from point A to B in just a few simple steps. So if you would like this collection, uh, it's the Clean Essentials Collection, and you can find it at greaterthangatsby.com.